Hello and welcome to the New Jersey Association for College Admission Counseling's Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. You can direct your question to a specific school or schools or leave a question for all of our representatives to answer. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. That's why that Q&A button is so important. This is just one of many different sessions that have been hosted. We hope that you've attended and want to remind you that this presentation is being recorded and will be available alongside all of the other sessions for New Jersey students at that same website where you registered, strivescan.com slash New Jersey. You can go there for all the videos and also keep up to date on any future programming for you as well. I'm excited to welcome our first school to present tonight. We'll first be hearing from St. Mary's College. Hi, everybody. It's so great to have all of you here. Thank you for being part of this presentation tonight. Um, my name is Claire McNamara, and I'm one of the admissions counselors here at St. Mary's College, but specifically for New Jersey students. Um, so I am super excited to be talking with all of you tonight. For those who don't know St. Mary's College, we are located in Notre Dame, Indiana, but technically we're in the South Bend, Indiana area, one of the fourth largest cities within the state of Indiana, and we are located right across the street from the University of Notre Dame. St. Mary's College is founded in 1844 by the Sisters of Holy Cross, and we are a women's institution. We have about 1,600 students on our campus with about an average class ratio of 16 students faculty student ratio 10 to 1, so a nice small class sizes that you'll be able to participate in at our college. We have great individualized academic areas for you to participate in. Um, some of our most popular areas are chemistry, biology, um, engineering, as well as speech and language pathology, communication studies, business, education, as well as nursing. We're actually the third in the state of Indiana for best nursing program. Um, so very highly ranked nursing programs at St. Mary's College. With that being said too, it's individualized because of not only the classroom environment with the small class sizes, but also your academic advisor is actually your professor who's in your major. We don't have any teaching assistants and we don't have um, graduate students who will teach your class. You'll really get to know your professor one-on-one -on -one, um, who can really advise you in our network of 20,000 alumni who they've taught um, they say, hey, did you know that you can maybe do this as a research project? Or maybe have you thought about this internship or job opportunity? I think you'd be a really great fit for it. So you get that kind of personalized experience while you're here at St. Mary's. Um, we have multiple different majors, minors, concentrations. I have a student employee who has a major in um, chemistry, but three minors in different areas, including arts. Um, so lots of ways that you can take your majors with your St. Mary's academic experience. 100% um, of our students also do participate in research while they're here at St. Mary's College, which is amazing. Not only do you have opportunities for research here on our campus, but you can also participate in research at the University of Notre Dame. Um, because of this, we have actually 100% of our students receive receive, they complete a senior comprehensive course which could culminate within a thesis or maybe a um, poster presentation or presenting a research opportunity nationwide, statewide, regionally, um, which is great for when you're going on to your graduate programs or into your jobs later on after St. Mary's College. So we are a women's college. I know sometimes it always can be a little bit intimidating for some students. They're like, I don't know how I feel about going to a women's college. Well, let me tell you, I'm our student employment coordinator. Um, so I talk with our students pretty frequently about this question. I say, so what really is it about a women's college that you love most? Number one reasons I get is because they love going to class and not caring about how they look and they're just focusing on their academics. They say the sisterhood that you build up here truly is a sisterhood. Um, sometimes I think students are concerned if there's, you know, cattiness between the women, women or something like that. And it's not the case at all. They really are trying to build each other up because if you do well, that means the rest of us do well as do well too. And I think that that shows within our community. Um, but as you can see some statistics here, 
percent of women's college alumna complete a degree versus 27 percent at public institutions and 81 percent of women's college alumna feel prepared for their job um, so again numbers speak volume but i think our community aspect as well speaks volumes we do give 100 percent of our students receive some type of financial aid the largest comes in a merit scholarship which right now ranges between 15,000 per year up to thirty thousand dollars per year um, we also have music and art scholarships if you're a senior and you visit campus, you also receive a $500 book scholarship for St. Mary's. Um, we do also get out St. Mary's grants based off of the FAFSA. We have a four year promise. It also guarantees that as long as you are doing your part, we guarantee that you will graduate in four years or will pay for any additional costs needed in order for you to graduate. We are part of the tri campus community with the University of Notre Dame. So not only do you have fantastic classes you can take at St. Mary's, but you also can take classes at the University of Notre Dame starting your sophomore year. And we do have one dual degree program actually with the university um, for engineering. So you'll receive a degree from us in some type of science background or math background in four years. And you'll also receive a degree from engineering from the University of Notre Dame um, within that time period. Great program. Um, there are lots of different clubs and options for our own students on our campus, um, but you can participate in clubs and activities at the University of Notre Dame. Most popular include marching band, newspaper organization, um, club sports as well. And then you can participate in the game day events. Um, the University of Notre Dame does have a pretty fantastic football team, if I do say so myself. Um, and you can sit in the student section and be a part of that student and social life, including dances and other things, events, musicians that take place on our campus and at Notre Dame. Um, we do have an early decision process deadline as well as an early just a regular decision. Um, that app deadline for early decision you can see there is November 15th with deposit deadline of February 15th. And then we also have our app deadline of February 15th for regular decision and deposit deadline of May 1st. Um, if you have any further questions, you can email me. I'd be happy to talk about anything with St. Mary's. I truly think we have a special place here, and I hope that we will be seeing you soon. Thank you so much, Claire, for presenting on St. Mary's College tonight. Our next presentation is going to be from the Stevens Institute of Technology. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Um, we really appreciate you taking the time to learn more about our schools. My name is Megan Murphy and I'm the Director of Undergraduate Admissions at Stevens Institute of Technology. Stevens was founded in 1870 by the Stevens family who are a family of inventors. They were really pushing our country forward at the time. We started with just offering a degree in mechanical engineering but have expanded a lot since then. On this slide, you'll see the different areas of study that we offer at Stevens, primarily in the fields of engineering, computer science, business, the sciences, as well as the humanities and arts. If you decide to apply to Stevens at a later point in time, you will indicate which area of study you want to be considered for. There are undecided options more broadly within different categories though, such as engineering, business, the humanities, and you do also have some time to decide once you get there, but you do begin in a particular major right at the start. So we want to get a sense of what it is that you're most interested in studying. Most students at Stevens are pursuing engineering. You'll see that we offer about a dozen different areas within this field, and you're going to be earning a bachelor's of engineering at Stevens or a BE, as opposed to a bachelor's of science that you might earn at some other institutions. The BE is awarded because regardless of the area of engineering that you ultimately pursue at Stevens, your first three semesters are the same across the board. So you're getting that solid foundation in the field more generally before diving more specifically into your chosen area. It's also an incredibly hands-on curriculum. We have at Stevens what we call the design spine. So every semester that you're a student in our engineering program, you're taking a design class. So really project-based collaborative group work experience. Computer science is also quite popular at Stevens and we have both a computer science and a cybersecurity degree. So you can choose to dive more deeply into that area of cybersecurity if you'd like. There are still other concentrations though within our computer science program, such as information systems, data, the structures uh, as well. In fall of 2019, we opened up our brand new Gateway Academic Center, which is home to our computer science, cybersecurity, and artificial intelligence programs. 
The sciences are quite strong at Stevens. They really do form the foundation of so many of the academic programs we have. Um, Pre-med is quite popular, um, for instance, if that's something that you're interested in. Last year, we had 100% acceptance rate to medical school for our students who went that route after graduation. About 600 students are within our School of Business, which is a really great location given our proximity to New York City and the professional opportunities that exist there. Quantitative finance is one program that we offer at Stevens that you won't find at many other places at the undergraduate level. And that's a good program for students who have interests in things such as mathematics, finance, as well as computer science. Business and technology is also a unique program for us and allows students to combine an area of business with an area of tech. So perhaps you combine economics with computer science or marketing with music and technology. We have majors within the humanities as well um, that students can pursue, music and technology and visual arts and technology being the two most popular, but all students at Stevens, regardless of what they're studying, will pursue some liberal arts coursework to gain the important skills that those um, areas and classes offer. I mentioned that we're located near New York City. We're specifically in Hoboken, New Jersey, which as you can see, is right across the river from the city. We have a 55 acre campus in Hoboken. Hoboken itself is also a city, but a smaller one. It's just a mile by a mile. So if you want a city experience for your undergraduate uh, career, but perhaps not a large city, we might be a good fit for you. You get that traditional campus experience entirely open to Hoboken and again, very accessible to New York for both the social personal opportunities that exist there, but also professional opportunities for our students. Housing is available for students all four years. Your freshman year, you would live in one of our first year residence halls on campus. Starting in fall of 2022, we will open up a brand new housing center where our sophomores will live. And then junior and senior year, if you'd like housing through the institution, Stevens leases apartments in the city of Hoboken on your behalf. So again, housing for you there the whole time, but just changes a little bit in terms of format as you go across your undergraduate years. Students like this shift. They like the independence that comes along with um, living in an apartment their junior and senior year. They're also full year leases. So if you stay over the summer to do research or to pursue an internship in the city, you can stay in that same space. One of the things that really draws students to Stevens are again, those professional opportunities. Some students are pursuing the traditional internship experience. We also do have a cooperative education program at Stevens for students studying things like engineering, math, science, and computer science. Co-op actually takes your time at Stevens to five years because there are certain semesters where you're stopping going to school and working full-time to gain a more in-depth experience. Many of our students also pursue research and you can also choose to study abroad as a student at Stevens. 95% of our students in the class of 2020 were employed or enrolled in graduate school six months after graduation with an average starting salary of just over $77,000 a year. So students are seeing a return on that investment that they make in Stevens. We offer early decision and regular decision deadlines at Stevens. We are a part of the common application, so you can use that one to apply to our school. We'll of course need your official transcript and do check out our website for recommended coursework that we provide high school students with based upon their area of study that they might like to pursue at Stevens. We were test optional for fall 2021 and just announced this past week that we will remain test optional for fall 2022. So you have the choice as to whether or not you would like to submit SAT or ACT scores. You're automatically considered for merit-based aid just by applying for admission to Stevens, and then you submit the FAFSA and CSS profile for need-based aid. Just quickly, we have a pre-college program for, for students, um, high school students who want to learn more about Stevens and STEM in general over the summer, so check that out as well if you're interested. Um, please feel free to put questions in the Q&A, and thanks again so much for your time. Megan, thank you so much for presenting to everyone at the Stevens Institute of Technology. Our next school that we'll be hearing from is the College of St. Rose. Oh, Katie, oop. Yep, I just need to, thank you. <laughs> there you go. Always some technical difficulties. Hear you. Yes. And you can, yeah, definitely you can hear me. It was my, mm -hmm. uh, my mouse decided to go on a different adventure. So, um, but we're gonna get it through. If I could share my screen, there we go. Perfect. Awesome. So hi everyone, looks my name good. is What? I said it's looking good. Um, if you oh, just wanna go to presentation mode, but yeah, we can see you, hear you, and we can see your screen, so all I set. love it, awesome. So my name is Katie Lesko and I am in the college, at the College of St. Rose. Hey Katie, it just yeah. went to, we're seeing the presenter view. Oh, let me, let me fix that. Let me. 
it happens. Sure. Zoom has a mind yeah. of its own. I think we've all learned that over the last year. I love it. All right, let's see what I can do. Um, hi, everybody. Okay, my name is Katie yeah. Lesko from the College of St. Rose. And while I um, do my fun technology share, um, I am going to just give you a little bit of background about St. Rose. So we're about 2,500 students at um, up in Albany, New York. Uh, and we are able uh, to be about two and a half hours away from like Bergen County, New Jersey. Um, so if you're Katie, thinking... actually, I just want to ask a quick question before you continue. Do you, would you like to pause and I can just slot you back later on? You need to work on that a little bit more or are you okay for sending right now? I want to give you the choice. Totally okay. I'm just going to resume okay. the sideshow and okay. we're going to go from there. So <laughs> okay, just wanted to be certain and I'm going to give you your, you know, this time and yeah, I no, want to give you're... you the choice. I am, I am good. Like I, I'll be honest with you. Hey, everybody, but <laughs> welcome to Katie. Um, <laughs> so let me just, uh, I, I think part of it was just lots of things going on. So let me go at this, let me go this way. We're going to do this. We're going to go from the beginning and I can talk really quick and that'll be good. It's still showing presenter and we're going to swap it and now we're going to be okay. So my name is Katie Lesko and I'm at the College of St. Rose. Um, I have done this for 20 years, hence the technology might be my issue, I suppose. Um, but I can give you a lot of really good information about St. Rose in a very short period of time, because really what I'm doing is showing you kind of, in some way, my personality, and that's the warm feeling that you get at St. Rose. We're about 2,500 students. We're in the capital of Albany, and we like that location. That location allows us to have industries that we're connected to with healthcare and business, education, uh, technology, um, research uh, and development, and of course, politics, which you always have to appreciate, and that's for the good and the bad of all of it. Um, but that is why our students come to us. We are an urban center campus, about 50% diverse. Um, we are located in the Pine Hood neighborhood um, of Albany. And so you have this nice campus, but it's in a city, so it's uh, not isolated, essentially. That's why our students really enjoy it. The majors are within four schools, math and science, education, arts, humanities, and business. Um, we'll go quickly through those majors with lists that you can always come back to. Uh, but most importantly, what we want our students to come out with is high impact practices with a social conscious, uh, consciousness. We are founded in the Catholic tradition. It's the Sisters of St. Joseph of Carondelet. Uh, essentially the core value of, of what they do is the dear neighbor, right? So what they think about is giving to each other. If you have knowledge, share it. If you have things, share it. If you have time, share it. Um, that's what our students walk through with on the, con the social conscious piece. Um, but more importantly, they'll be building their skill sets as we go as well. So research, study abroad, internship programs. Uh, what we've newly adopted is the ability to get you out of St. Rose with two degrees in four years. So our business students um, would be able to combine their master's programs and put the classes together to graduate in four years with two degrees. Uh, we think uh, earning potential and the opportunity to um, be with faculty members that you're comfortable with while still having an expert covered uh, expert education allows you to be in a different trajectory when you leave St. Rose. Those are the different business majors, the list of the math and science, a lot of research internships along those lines, social sciences, psych, public health is unique, forensic psychology is very unique. There's a cold case analysis center and we're the only one in New York and sit one of six in uh, United States. Our arts and humanities degrees, all of which come with some sort of internship, practicum, with practical experience. We don't want to just have you study to study sake, which is always important, um, but we want you to think critically and put it into some sort of industry standard, um, industry in action. Our School of Ed, which is probably what we're uh, most known for, uh, and New Jersey to New York has a nice uh, reciprocity if you're thinking about education, but would like to come out of state. Our student success surrounds or surrounds these offices. It's not an exhaustive list, but the idea is that we want your transition to be smooth and then we want you to be a productive member of the community while also having a social life that can um, make it enjoyable. Uh, we've been able to, to handle COVID really well, which has worked out for our students to be more in person than not. Um, and they were really excited to back, come back for second semester. Uh, but those other career, the other offices like the Career Center and the Counseling Center, we see them as really wraparound services and a lot of support that comes through your journey while you're in college. Everybody's different, right? 
We also see our student life, having res life and clubs and activities. Um, people are not only just involved in our community, but they're also involved in the community around us. And that's the nice benefit of having an urban center and an urban campus. Uh, and then we have 19 division two sports. And so when you're thinking about your athletics recruitment, um, our division two efforts are, it's a great place to be. The application process is pretty simple. So your application, letter of rec, transcript, your SATs are optional. And we've been optional since uh, 2012 or so. So we uh, handle the pandemic really easily when you can't get to testing because we're not looking at them anyways. You can submit if you'd like to. Uh, we're looking at about a B average and higher students are below that students are above that um, average is around an 88 so I guess that'd be about a B plus um, but really we're looking at a holistic uh, approach to your application we want to know your story what has prepared you for college and then why you why you're looking to go into the area that you might be going into um, there are transition programs and again tutoring and things like that if you're maybe not as prepared um, at the same point in time we want you to come up with a strong level to be able to hit those bio classes and run. We do have a music industry program. There's an, in, there's an audition. We have a nursing program and there's an interview. So always remember that any of these colleges will have specific recommendations and make sure that you are looking at those as you go through. Um, at the end of the day, we are a New York State school. So it would be, it's a private school. So the tuition is the same and room and board. We do merit scholarships between $16,000 and 22. So we really wanna be able to give students um, a opportunity to afford a private school. We believe in private school education. In addition to that, what we would look at is your need-based aid to help you afford a private school. Lastly, we've got my contact, in, well, the admissions contact information. And so thank you so much. Awesome, Katie. Thank you so much for presenting. And I'm so glad that we were able to get everything sorted out so we could all learn more about the College of St. Rose. So we're halfway through. We've heard from three great schools. We have three to go. Um, it's been great from our attendees putting questions in the Q&A. So please feel free to continue to do that. Um, our representatives love giving you more personalized questions and directing you to information. So we hope you'll keep utilizing that Q&A. All right, I'm now going to turn it over. We're going to be learning more about the Cooper Union. Thank you so much. I hope you can see my screen, everyone. Yes, looks all great. All right, great. Um, thank you. So welcome to the Cooper Union. Uh, I am Sanjeev Menon. I work as the Assistant Director of Admissions at Cooper. Um, Cooper Union is a school uh, located in the East Village of New York City. We have three majors um, since our inception in 1859. Uh, these three programs are in art, architecture, and engineering. So the school at the bottom left of uh, this slide is our new academic building. This is a building that we built in 2009. Uh, it houses all of our engineering labs, as well as classrooms, as well as a couple of art studios. This is the foundation building uh, at the time in 1859, the tallest building in Brownstone in New York City. Um, and that's where we have our art and architecture studios as well as um, gallery spaces, including our library and our great hall. Uh, and this picture on the right is our residence halls, which is all of a two minute walk away from the other two of our buildings. So if you can see this little map here, you get an idea of um, how these buildings are interconnected. Uh, not a lot of campus space, but um, right in the prime of the East Village in New York City. So a little bit of our history, we were founded in 1859 by Peter Cooper. He was a industrialist, a inventor and a philanthropist. Um, and he believed that education should be as free as air and water. And so he began the school um, with that idea. And it's something that we continue to strive to today. Um, a lot of uh, prolific speakers have spoken at the Great Hall, including suffragettes like Elizabeth Cady Stanton, uh, the late Honorable uh, John Lewis, Congressman, as well as Abraham Lincoln made his uh, Right Makes Might speech here at Cooper. And so a lot of social justice uh, events have happened at Cooper, uh, and it's been the space and it's something that uh, we pay a lot of attention to. Um, what are some of our values? We are a really small 
uh, school. So just to give you a little bit of context, we have about a thousand students across these three programs in art, architecture, and engineering. And what that translates to is about an eight to one student faculty ratio. So typically in each of your classes, you will have uh, less than 30 students, um, as well as passionate, committed, and collaborative peers who support you in your academic pursuits. Uh, we're 160 years old, so we have over 13,000 alumni uh, that you can reach out to for perspective and mentorship. And something that we truly believe in is engagement with our community. And that's the Cooper community, but also um, the East Village as well as New York City. So I'm going to start off talking a little bit about uh, the Albert Nurkin School of Engineering. We have five majors in engineering, four of which are ABET accredited. ABET accredited majors basically allow you to attain professional licensure. So that's in our chemical, civil, electrical, as well as mechanical engineering degrees. And then we offer a fifth Bachelor of Science in General Engineering, which is a non-accredited degree. One of the nice things about Cooper is that we offer the ability to do a four years bachelor's and master's program. So say, for example, you're really interested in electrical engineering um, and you know you want to go into hardware, um, you can do, you, you can graduate from Cooper in four years with your bachelor's and master's degree. Uh, we also have research opportunities specifically in biomedical engineering with our Maurice Cambar uh, Institute for Graduate Studies. A little bit about our architecture program. Our architecture school is a five-year professional degree. Um, it's all the students, um, about a hundred of them over the five years that kind of uh, share all, all the space in this one floor of the foundation building. This is the studio, as you can see. Uh, and they truly believe in learning by osmosis. So they have about 25 to 30 students per year um, and three faculty that teach per design studio. Uh, and all of it culminates into your fifth year, which is a thesis year. And a little bit about our School of Art, um, where we have an integrated program, which means that there are no majors. So if you're an artist that uh, comes into Cooper Union, you will have the ability to learn lithography, um, as well as you know, um, printmaking, sculpture. Uh, and so they're really trying to build a holistic artist. Um, and uh, the other thing is after your freshman year, you get a really prime studio space in <laughs> New York City, uh, one of the art meccas of the world. Um, and so alongside this, we believe in a holistic education so that while you're doing your specialized education in each of these technical degrees, um, we have our faculty of humanities and social sciences where you will have to take about six courses in them. Uh, and we support our students um, through the Center for Writing. Uh, and students have the ability to take minors in humanities, computer science, as well as mathematics. Uh, a little bit about student life. So what is what is life in New York City like? Uh, New York City is home to many, many museums, uh, li li you know, libraries, parks, uh, lots of opportunities in New York City. Um, we have amazing food right at the front uh, of, you know, right at our footstep in the East Village, as well as um, so freshman year, uh, we offer housing uh, in our residence halls. Um, and after that, we basically support students um, to find housing in the city. There are study abroad opportunities, opportunities for student government. Uh, we have over 80 clubs. Uh, and if you find a club that um, doesn't exist, but you're interested in creating one, you're always welcome to start one. What is life after Cooper like? We offer career counseling. Um, we offer two career fairs over the year, as well as alumni student mentorships. Um, and a little bit about financial aid. Um, every student admitted to the Cooper Union is offered a half tuition scholarship that's valued at 22275 And this scholarship is guaranteed for all four or five years that you attend Cooper. Connect with us <laughs> at admissions.cooper.edu or reach out to me, menon at cooper.edu. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sanjay, for sharing more with us about Cooper. We are going to be hearing next from The Ohio State University. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here. This is such a neat opportunity to learn from my perspective about a whole bunch of different schools that I don't know much about. So I hope that you're all enjoying yourself so far. My name is Lauren Heatherly. I am the New York, New Jersey Regional Recruitment Manager for The Ohio State University. Um, I'm actually based in Brooklyn. So all of you in New Jersey, 
just know I'm not too far away. And when I do get a chance to travel, hopefully I'll get to meet some of you. or I might have met some of you already. Um, but behind me, I'm actually sitting here in the shoe. Um, and I always like to say that I feel like I'm recruiting alumni. I'm not recruiting just first year students. I want you to come and join the Buckeye family. And so if you multiply this stadium by about five, that is how large our alumni network is that you'll join over 550,000 alumni that you can be part of and be a Buckeye. There's a lot of spirit here. So hopefully you sense some of that today. So let's get started so you can learn a little bit more about Ohio State. One of the things I love about working for a large top public research university is the fact that our students can truly explore and dive really deep into almost any academic area that they could think of. So we've got over 200 majors. Um, just to give an example, we offer over 100 different STEM related minors. So the level of detail that we get you to at Ohio State is just unparalleled. And it's something that I love to be able to help you process as a student as you're thinking about applying. Our application process is actually major blind. So when you apply to Ohio State, we're not going to consider your major as part of our holistic review. And so if you're admitted to Ohio State, you essentially have all these opportunities at your fingertips. So should you want to change your major or double major, minor in an unrelated field, that's completely normal. And we want you to be able to do that. I think another thing that surprises students because of our size is that about 80% of our classes have 50 students or less than them. And we've got a 19 to one faculty to student ratio. So you absolutely positively will connect with your professors and very likely join them in research, which is a great opportunity as well. A couple other facts um, just to learn a little bit more about um, our academic opportunities. One of the things that I think we do such a great job with is equipping our graduates. I already said you're going to join that alumni network when you graduate, um, but they are some of the most sought after in the country. And I really think that has to do with a lot of the hands-on opportunities that you'll have. Any student at Ohio State can take part in undergraduate research. And actually, we really hope that you will because all of our faculty, faculty are participating in research. So you can start that as early as your first year. And that's across any field. So business, engineering, nursing, medical related things, dance even. So whatever area you're interested in, I hope that you'll take advantage of that opportunity to connect with faculty as well. One area that I wanted to share about that I think is super interesting is um, actually we have a research center in Antarctica. And they are studying climate change there. So it's called um, the Bird Polar research center and we actually have undergraduate students that are joining those scientists in that research so that's just one example of how vast the opportunities are um, to explore research and we actually have study abroad opportunities on all seven continents so i'll talk a little bit more about some of the opportunities to do that experiential learning because i don't know if you're if you're anything like me i need to apply things that i'm learning i can't just read i need to actually put it into action and so i'm really proud of some of these programs that we offer a couple that i wanted to highlight specifically because i know not everybody thinks about a large school as a place that they would thrive but we have a first and second year program to help make you successful on our campus you'll meet those folks at orientation and they're going to walk with you through your entire first year and then into your second year there's a really neat program we have called step and you can actually apply for a fellowship of up to two thousand dollars and you can put that towards study abroad it can go towards your research projects a lot of different things and then another thing i always forget to mention is that we have a digital flagship program where every incoming student gets an ipad i don't know why i would ever forget that because I'm very jealous of it. I could use a new iPad, um, but that's a really amazing opportunity that we provide to every incoming student as well. And it's a partnership that we have with Apple. A couple of other opportunities that I wanted to highlight that actually you'll have a chance to apply for on your application if you decide to apply. And I hope that you will if this sounds like a school that's a good fit for you. A um, couple things I know um, that just before, as Sanjeev mentioned about um, at Cooper, a focus on social justice. And that's actually a theme at Ohio State as well. I always say, look at what schools put their money towards and really think about how your values line up with what schools are spending their resources on. And we have a scholarship specifically for social justice leaders. So even if that's an area that maybe you aren't as involved in right now as a high school student, but it's something you care about, you'd like to get activated in in high school, in college, you know that you can join a community of students at Ohio State who are doing the same thing. So on your application, you'll have a chance to apply for the Moral Scholarship. Um, also, honors and scholars are great opportunities to make a big school small. You'll have more rigorous, smaller class sizes and honors and the opportunity to enroll in classes even earlier, which is great. And then learning communities as well, where you can be with other students in the residence halls that share a similar interest or a similar major, career path, leadership, all those sorts of things. So I hope that you'll take advantage of those in the application process as well. 
one thing I want to highlight that many of you might not have had a chance to know much about because maybe you haven't been to Ohio. I know some people think of Ohio, they think of cornfields, but we're actually located in a city and it's a pretty awesome city. It's called Columbus, Ohio, and it is the state capital. It is home to a lot of Fortune 500 companies. So I know I got a lot of students from New York, New Jersey interested in business great place for internships, a great place to be a college student because our campus is large enough to be a city in itself, but it's surrounded by a really young and vibrant city. A lot of my friends that are alumni of Ohio State have started their own businesses in Columbus. It's a creative city. It's a really inclusive city. A lot of good food as well. I know it might not compare to, you know, New York City food, but it's coming close. We're a foodie city. So if that sounds like you and you really want that vibrancy of a city, but also the college feel, Ohio State might be a good fit for you. We also have a really great zoo. A lot of our students that are involved in politics take part um, at the state capitol with internship opportunities. And it's an affordable city. I and mean, it's an accessible city. You're only a couple miles from downtown, only about 10 minutes from the airport, which is great. So I'll talk a little bit real quickly about the application. Um, we are test optional. We became test optional last year. We're doing it again this year. I hope that you'll all apply early action because we have an amazing scholarship specifically for out-of-state students called the National Buckeye. So if you apply early action, you'll automatically be considered for that. And that deadline is November 1st. And I'm going to put my contact info real quick up on the screen. Um, all of the, take a little screenshot of this so that you can see all the different websites to visit and check out some of our virtual webinars and our virtual tours right now because we'd love to be able to continue to connect with you and I'll be glad to answer questions at the end. Thank you so much. Thanks Lauren so much for presenting on Ohio State. All right we're on to our sixth school of the evening. We'll be hearing from the University of Mississippi. information. Oh, wait. Ah. Yes. Hey, Debbie, you were muted at Can first, but now we're okay, all Okay, let's see. So. Are you all set? Okay. And I'm just a talking away. So, hey, y'all, my name is Debbie McCain Wesley, and I am a regional rep for the University of Mississippi. I'm not based in uh, New Jersey, New York. I'm actually uh, right outside of our nation's capital in Northern Virginia. So I am um, happy that you all are here tonight and want to share some information with you about Ole Miss and about the South. Um, we are located in the northern part of the state of Mississippi. And if you've ever heard of Memphis, Tennessee. We are a little over an hour outside of Memphis, Tennessee. Um, so we'd love for you to come and visit us, maybe a flight, um, you know, out of your um, nearest airport into Memphis and or you can drive that 16 plus uh, hour drive um, and come and see us. We are the flagship university for the state. We were founded in 1848. We um, have a little bit over 23,000 uh, thousand students coming from all 50 states, the District of Columbia, and over 90 countries. We have a 17 to 1 student-faculty ratio, and our average class sizes tends to range between 30 35 students in a class. I usually tell students that, you know, that because we are Carnegie Research uh, R1 uh, University, the flagship university for the state, they, it will feel big. It feels big when it needs to, but certainly it can feel small and more intimate. Uh, when it needs to. And I think at Ole Miss students find a nice blending uh, of both. The only medical school in the state of Mississippi belongs to us. Um, we've been recognized as having one of the most beautiful uh, college campuses as well. And we offer a number of nationally ranked uh, academic programs. Of course, we're located in a fabulous town uh, called Oxford, and it's just the quintessential, you know, type of uh, southern town that blends beautifully with our college community. So uh, you can walk into uh, the downtown square area, ride a bike, uh, hop on, you know, a bus uh, that can take you uh, there as well. But there's so many fun things to do. So a lot uh, that happens within our areas from the Double Decker Festival to a number of uh, concerts various artists um, that are part uh, of a student's experience. And then we have a number of James Beard award-winning chefs uh, as well. And just some really good down-home uh, Southern cooking uh, spots too. Academic overview, we have like over 80 uh, undergraduate majors and most of our academic programs are situated within schools or say within our College of Liberal Arts. It's actually our largest uh, division. 
and offers a lot of opportunities uh, for students to explore and really delve more deeply into a particular you know, area of study. Uh, then of course, our School of Applied Science, we have a School of Journalism and New Media really has and offers this uh, awesome major called IMC, Integrated Marketing uh, and Communications very popular and quickly um, growing on our campus. Uh, nationally programmed with our School of Accountancy, um, the School of Business Administration. Business is one of our most popular majors as well. Uh, at Ole Miss, we were the first um, institution in the state of Mississippi to create an uh, engineering program. So we have a school of uh, engineering with a lot of majors within it and various concentrations. Also our School of Education and a top 25 School of Pharmacy program. Um, layering with our academic programs, we offer some special programs, uh, such as um, a really um, respectable and highly um, recognized honors college. We have a Trent Lott Leadership uh, Institute. Croft Institute for International Studies for those students who have this desire to delve more deeply into a particular language and or culture. This is a wonderful opportunity to, for you. Uh, we also have students that study abroad and all continents either for a semester or for an entire year. And with this particular program, it is a requirement that you will go uh, abroad and there's a, a, a thesis component uh, with it. We also boast two language flagship programs in Arabic uh, and Chinese. We have a Center for Manufacturing Excellence, um, Center for Intelligence and Security Studies. So if you're interested in some of those um, national agencies such as the FBI, CIA, um, uh, NSA, this is a wonderful opportunity for you. And then of course, our Mississippi Excellence in Teaching Program, and also an opportunity uh, for early entry into our School of Pharmacy. Our students work incredibly hard in the classroom, um, but that's not all that they do. You know, they're actively engaged in the life of the class, uh, outside uh, of the classroom, rather. So we have over 400 clubs and organizations. We are one of those institutions um, that has uh, a vibrant Greek life uh, opportunity as well. I'd say probably about 40% of our students participates uh, in Greek life, wonderful opportunities for students, but that's not all, you know, that there is for them to do. We require first-year students to live with us for one year um, in our residential uh, life uh, and living great opportunities for either traditional or contemporary um, style, thus building uh, relationships, you know, with your classmates uh, and making lifelong friendships. We boast two um, campus recreational facilities, one in which that has uh, an Olympic um, size swimming pool, tons of workout equipment and spaces, and then another that boasts a rock climbing wall. And it's in great proximity to some really awesome walking, hiking, and uh, biking trails as well. Lots of traditions and things that are centered uh, around our campus too. We are part of that Southeastern uh, Conference, um, Division I Athletic Sports. So there's a lot to be involved in. We offer a lot of opportunities financially as well from academic merit aid, endowed scholarships. Um, you can apply using our institutional app on the Common App. This is my contact information. So please, in your leisure, maybe go online, take a snapshot Thanks. of this or a screenshot, shall yes, I say, and I'll be in touch. Thanks, Thank Debbie. you so very much. Thanks, Debbie, for sharing more Thank about you. Ole Miss with everyone. Um, we have heard some great schools tonight, and I know that we're getting super close to our end, but I still want to squeeze in this Q&A, and I think that these admissions pros can share some great, a great little uh, tidbit extra and still do it efficiently for everybody's time. So if everyone can turn their cameras back on, um, come back on out here, and um, we'll get everybody uh, back in action. So, um, so I have faith. We can do this, right, everybody? We're going to do this? All right, so efficiently and, uh, but still fun. Um, could you share just a little tidbit about a favorite event or tradition that is really important to your campus community and gives a little extra insight to the student flavor? And we'll go in the same order. So we're gonna start with Claire at St. Mary's. Perfect. Well, um, so my favorite thing that we do um, is actually an opening and closing of the circle at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year. Um, the new students and those who are on campus already will gather around in a circle in front of our um, historical Amman Hall and they'll have a closed circle together and welcome the new student 
And then at graduation, they have an opening of a circle. So all the graduates will get in a circle and open them up to go out and spread their newfound knowledge to the world. Um, that's my favorite, but our students' favorite is a, um, I think it's like a night breakfast during finals week where they dance on the tables. And I hear about it all the time. <laughs> Stevens, um, one of my favorite traditions, and I think the students really enjoy it too, is our Innovation Expo. We end each academic year with the Innovation Expo, which essentially allows our seniors to showcase their design projects for the whole community. It's basically the most amazing science fair you could ever attend. Um, it's really inspirational and it really is a nice way to set our students off um, on their next path. Really quick, we do a one day service with a thousand, a thousand volunteers, alumni come back and it's a reach, it's called Reach Out St. Rose. So you, the students do it the second week of classes and you really get into your community. So that, and they toilet paper a tree on Halloween, right? You gotta have those. <laughs> um, at Cooper, where I was actually also a student, um, I really enjoyed our culture show. Culture shows where um, we have student clubs from all across the school, um, from our three three programs, come together and put on performances. Uh, and we also have tons of food um, because you know food brings everyone together, and especially college kids. Um, yeah. There's a lot of traditions at Ohio State. I think my favorite is probably the fact that no matter where you go, if you wear any kind of Buckeye gear, someone might shout OH at you, okay? And that just automatically means like they get it, like they know what's going on. And then you have to yell back IO, okay? So it's a call and response thing, but you can make a friend like climbing the Swiss Alps, I don't know, you know, on a plane to Italy, you know, people do it, it's all over the place. So it's just pretty cool because it keeps you connected to everybody. And then I also really like our marching band and how they dot the I uh, with the tuba player, so. Or actually, it's not a tuba player. I'm going to get the, I don't know the name of the instrument. Does anyone know the name of it? It's like a funny long name that looks like a tuba. I'm going to get fired. <laughs> but that's, those are my favorite. The trombone? <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, so favorite tradition at uh, Old Miss, really, it has to do with my background, the Walk of Champions. Um, we call it the Grove. And this place takes on a totally different personality, especially on game day, where our coaches, football players are all greeted by thousands of cheering fans and they make their walk of champions on their way uh, to the stadium. And we like to say hottie time, so. See, that was amazing. I just love hearing all of the events and little traditions. And I hope that everyone who is either watching live or watching the recording thinks, I wanna go look that up, you know, check it out on social media look around at the schools and, um, you know, see if you can picture yourself on campus participating in these events um, and if you can see yourself for your next academic home. Well, we have reached the end of our time together. Um, and I just want to say, first of all, thank you to these amazing admissions professionals. You not only shared the facts and figures, but just your energy and excitement for the opportunities students have on your campus in and out of the classroom is awesome. Um, I hope that for everyone watching that you felt like you got to know six great schools and are intrigued to spend a little more time after this small snapshot to learn more, contact these admissions representatives. They are your biggest ally. They want you to know everything about campus and there's no question too small. So build that relationship and get to know them. As we are uh, ending and you close your window tonight, I just want to let you know that um, you will get a link to a very quick four question survey. I promise it's short and fast. So any feedback you can provide uh, would be wonderful. And again, this is just many sessions that were hosted as part of programming for New Jersey students, and all of them have been recorded. So in about a week's time, you'll be able to find this session's recording, as well as all of those other session recordings at strivescan.com slash New Jersey. And you can also keep an eye out there for any programming that may be coming up later in the spring semester. So best of luck on your college search and decision journey. Thanks again, and good night, everyone.